We have actually been one of the first uh, developers of uh, spacecraft for constellations. So we actually developed uh, some of the first uh, commercial uh, ground uh, constellations. And uh, we have actually developed many of the, the capabilities to actually build spacecraft, small spacecraft, quickly and cheaply so that we can enable constellations. So we have been doing that since the, the 1990s. So we did probably the first Earth observation constellations, more than by us in the early 2000s. The DMC constellation and later the Rapidae constellation, that now now on by planet. So we have done that uh, over the years. And uh, we continue to actually innovate so that we can build constellations quickly and at low cost. We build uh, actually a range of missions that you could consider being uh, medium range. We do quite a lot in terms of uh, 400, 500 kilos. Uh, actually, in the last few years, we have been doing quite a lot in that area. Like I say, a lot of what we do is actually uh, small satellites, but doing small satellites is more about uh, size of the spacecraft. So, so we build medium range, medium sized satellites, quite a lot of them. And actually the challenge is sometimes how to, to build successful small satellites and small constellations. Although people talk a lot about it, people are not actually doing a huge amount in that arena successfully yet. So large constellations of very small satellites are only now starting to. So we partner very much with uh, downstream companies, so companies that are doing uh, business case based constellations and satellites. We partner very much with the developing countries and uh, that want to uh, grow their capability. We are partnering also a lot with commercial organizations and government organizations that want to increase the capability and the capacity of their systems. So we have a wide variety of, uh, of customers and partners. We also partner very much upstream with other manufacturers and, and particularly we partner with uh, innovative manufacturers that are coming up with new solutions to the market. Our hope is that the UK and the EU will uh, achieve a, a good cooperation framework for space missions because we believe it's in the interest of both uh, organizations, both countries, and the EU and the UK. In the meantime, we are actually contracted to be part of the team that will do the next batch of uh, Galileo spacecraft. So we are continuing to work with our partner OHB and with the European Commission on producing that, uh, that next batch. But we hope that in the future, after that, so for the next generation of Galileo, both the UK and, uh, and the EU can actually agree uh, a good cooperation uh, to achieve that. If not, we will of course be very, very happy to support the UK in its efforts to, to have an independent system. We as a, a company welcome, we, we believe that is actually something very exciting. Uh, and we will of course uh, support the UK government in, uh, in its efforts to build that. Uh, do we still believe that there is an opportunity for cooperation with Europe? Yes. And uh, the costs involved uh, would actually make it wise for all parties to be able to cooperate. But if not, we will, uh, we will be there to, to support and to build uh, such a constellation. It's largely government sponsored. So the, the UK government has decided a few years ago that wanted to make space a critical sector for the economy. And as such has actually made available funds, but more than that has created a framework of support for companies, organizations, and created a series of uh, other organizations that actually can, uh, can support new companies and can support new space. And that ecosystem that has been formed has actually allowed the development of, very, of a very strong space sector in the UK. 